Hello everyone, John Deere here, and today I'm on the site of a catastrophic plumbing event. What you see down there is some old rotten uh, sewer pipe made of cast iron, you see. It's in a ditch where it normally belongs, and uh, if you ever dug a ditch and left it alone, you'll find out that once in a while stuff uh, ends up in that ditch. So, the goal is today is to get that piece of cast iron removed, and some new ABS pipe Come down over yonder here, back in the forest there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a piece of ABS pipe that's uh, newer, and that's where it ended, and it hooked up this cast iron over here. So, this here's bad. And what we need to do is uh, to get, get it out and put new stuff in. And then make it go to the, this is not a main line for the sewer, this is a, a sub line. And, um, so it might be some more digging involved, but I already did some. And so what we've got here is this piece of uh, cast iron. And I'm just going to mark it by putting a, this little piece of marking wood. Like so. Right in line with it. And then the other side over here. I got a rock. And that rock also marks the other line. You can see there, cast iron coming out. More trash. And uh, you can see maybe ever so slightly, well, well, this pipe is just not good. But it comes out this way, and it goes all the way down, down the trench to a main. So this whole thing's been kind of dug back out. In fact, if I come over here, you can maybe get a better shot at it. You can see there that the uh, top of the pipe just rotted away, basically. Like I said, it's old. It's probably like 80 years old or something. So it's all coming out. New stuff's going in. But to help with this, <coughs> or to hinder, I should say, we have this concrete in the way. Now, one person's advice was just to, uh, you know, either cut, cut your part of here, and dig it out, lay the pipe back down, pour more concrete. The other person says, you know, break it all up, pour a new slab. This here's the best slab on the property, so I'm leaving it. And I'm going to tunnel underneath with the help of a job pruned, a job doer's little helper there. Sledgehammer, yeah. So I try to bang this pipe out here, out that way. Rip. And we might need some other help. You've seen this before. This here's, uh, you know, our good friend, Pole. Mr. Pole's going to help out. And I'll show that in a little bit and how to do it. But first, what I'm going to do is um, this length of pipe here. Actually, a length of pipe is going to go connect down there, through here all the way out to uh, this area down here, a few inches. I need to back dig a whole trench in that way. This rock's going to help me keep things in line. And I um, need to put a piece of uh, pipe in there, then go all the way through to this side here. Now we're only really tunneling into this piece, concrete, concrete, which is only maybe uh, four foot in angle. So it won't be too bad. And the other thing to look forward to is a gas main here. I mean, there's a gas line hanging around. And I know that over here, there's this uh, wire down there. I think there marks the top of the gas line. So watch out for that because plastic. Okay, with the help of some water, pickaxe and shovel, I'll do my right, trench. I'm make a little documentary that's uh, 800 and, you know, 36 minutes long of how to trench around, um, you know, pipes and stuff you don't want damaged underneath the ground. But that's going to be for another time, because the editing's going to be way too long on that one. But what we've got here is some trash, as you can see. Some there and a little bit over here. And that happens when you have a trench, sometimes. You know, just stuff ends up in it. But we got here a pathway cut this way. And it shows you that this is kind of a weird. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of gas lines in my life, but this right here, Masuin's a gas line. This orange thing with the the coaxial cable above it to probably, you know, be able to find it. But back over here is, um, yeah, right there's actually more of what I'm used to, yeller. So I decided to quit digging down there, I think this is probably enough. Now for this, what we need is uh, some gloves to get that junk out of there. But, um, let's see here if I can find it. Eh, it's hard to see, but down in there, 
pipe here I'm looking at right now is the butt end of a rusted pipe that comes out, and also a spider web. So the spider's moved into my trench too. And that goes over yonder to um, this part here, you see. That's where we want to connect it to. So, on that side of things, we got a uh, pipe coming out, which looks a lot like, uh, like that right there. That pipe there is the old stuff. So, I'm going to set up shop here and um, try to work on it. And the best idea I have right now is uh, using a little bit of force. Right, a little force to um, get that out of there. Mm. Right. And for that, we're going to use Odd Job Viewer's little helper. Looks a lot like this right here. Now, safety glasses on, I'm going to give it a little tap. And just as speculated, that pipe kind of split away. You can see where it's been just dirt underneath. Actually, dirt inside the pipe. Now, that pipe's been there for a long time. There's dirt around at the bottom, you know, holding the pipe in there. And so I'm going to have to take some water and water all down and set my secret weapon up. Okay, so what I set up here is our friend little pulley, right there. And uh, what he's doing is he's going down here to basically where that pipe was, hopefully, um, back on that side. A rust out pipe, hopefully it's butted up against that or close to it. And then it comes up here and, and that's going to be our striking point. So. What I need to do here, slightly calculate, is um, you want the pole, since this is going away from the property, you want it to, um, it's okay if it goes down a slightness, you know, down into the ground through that which other side, because there's a little bit of drop when you go through. You can measure and cal calculate it out if you don't need to. Um, then you can also your angle left and right. And I probably want to go a little bit more left and avoid the gas line, it, it, if anything, otherwise I just want to go follow that pole that was in there before, just straight on through. So we got that set up, we got eye protection on, and um, some gloves I guess. And next uh, we'll use the uh, odd job viewer's little friend here, and give this some a little love at the end of this here previously smashed pole. Alright, now basically that's the gist of it. I'm going to go to the other end of the pole and uh, from the other side of the fence and adjust it, make sure I'm on target, and I'll get back to the, to, you know, pound the bejeebus out of it. And um, I might have to go from the other side too, but from the other side, it looks like I have that trench dug, so I'm going to be going from a down to a slightly up inclined to come back and meet. If all works well, we'll have a nice bored out hole without destroying our concrete. Also here that while I'm boring it down, I might use the water to spray down there. Might get that a little bit wet. And since we've got a bore pole here, we've got the end of it here. Go ahead and feed some water up in there. Like so. That in turn will run down it and into where I'm exactly boring at to help cut through any uh, dirt, rocks, whatever, well, not rocks, you know, but dirt. I dislodge that old pipe, because we really don't need the old pipe in there anymore. We want to replace it, kind of exactly with the new pipe, but close enough is close enough in this game. Okay, back to pounding. Sorry, I switched to the other side here. I'm boring it down. And uh, what I add to it is, uh, we'll carefully keep away from that supposed gas line. There's a little string. If you have a rope or whatever, you can kind of wrap it around the pipe and have it dangle there so you can kind of aim it better. But um, now I'm going to pull it out. So I'm just going to give it some twisting action and hopefully try pulling it out. And um, basically I went up about four inches, I think. And uh, it's going to take a core out. 
So let's see what happens here. Put the gloves back on. Uh, let's try and get down there somehow. Mm. Up over here. Mm. Probably no real, real way of doing this. It's going to be good. Just avoid the gas line at all costs. If you have water lines down there, avoid them too. Alright. Let's see what happens here. this core of dirt. Now, what I do is put back where it came from and repeat the procedure. Went right. This particular pole has about this one sticking out here, pretty much in line with the other pole that we're going to be trying to, we're not going to attach to, we're going to replace it. Over here we've got our dirty core samples, and over on this side here, it comes out right by there. So, if I had the longer span, I'd probably need a longer pole. And that would just go over here, actually that won't. We'll replace that with um, so maybe a sewer pipe there, and I don't hear any smells or sounds. The meter's not going crazy. Of course, it wouldn't on this side, so the gas line should be fine, and it's going to, you know, keep these poor little flowers staying alive without a big old fireball attached to them. Look at these pretty flowers. Anyways, um, ooh. okay. So that's not what the video is about. Anyways, so I will pull this pole out from the other end, uh, dump out the core, and then I'm ready to feed in the black one, which uh, I think is going to be just the right size. I didn't measure it, but it's going to be some hanging out the other side, and um, we'll get to that later. But I want to pull it out, and you want to replace it with something before the tunnel caves in. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the, the butt end of Mr. Pole here, and um, you know, He's helpful, so what you want to do is take some water and uh, wash down the center. Okay. Get it all around, and then, uh, then you want to wash out the outside just to keep it in nice shape. So you can use Mr. Pull again. Right ahead. Oh no. What happened? Oh, it's a little sad, but but it worked out good. And um, you know, you, you, can, you can borrow another hole with them. Just probably not as long because you did smash someone's head if done right. So, Mr. Pole will set off to the side here. I'll clean up some more. And what we have left is, um, over there, Pole. Is, we had our black pipe fed through the hole right there. And then it comes out the other side, too. So, what we're going to do now is, just like clean out Mr. Pole, you want to clean off your pipe. So, spray some on the top there. And I'm going to spray inside the top over here and have it come out the other end over here. Just to see if there's any mud in there and dirt. Let's see if I can get down there. All right, I did a little bit, but it's hard to get down there, so I'll try to back feed it through here. And uh, basically, you want any kind of dirt that might have gotten in the pipe from shiving through. In fact, you can put a cap on this thing to keep dirt from getting there. But um, oh, I just slide through and then uh, wash it up before you connect it to your sewer system. We've got enough slack on the other side to hopefully still breach up to attach to the pipe there. But I'll need some fittings first. So after the store I go. Oh, I'm getting this fitting. I'll need I think a 45 at the other end, and then another long piece of pipe to head towards the uh, the main. So measure. All right, so I'm going to start with a plethora of parts here. Some angle pieces. Some are like a 45. Some are 60, I think, in there. 
Some I think are like 22 degrees or something like that. And so the point is, is to take those there and, um, you know, hook up with this down there. Mm. Right there on the end, right? So between that and the other one, so we need to connect them. Now that one there is fixed. This one over here can go in and out a little bit more. So what I'm doing is, um, it's going to be hard to to work at, but I'm going to get in there and uh, I set the fence and clean that pipe out better. There's some kind of grass growing already, but I'm going to clean it out, wipe off the white paper towel, and then, uh, I'll be on this one here doing something. Okay, so, so I fitted a couple of fittings on here that should work out. And um, what you gotta do here is work real quick with this uh, cement. Uh, ABS cement. Let me get down here a little bit. And um, you do a coating on the inside of this part here. A light coating on the inside here, and then around the pipe too. Let me wipe off real quick and then you assemble them. And you should try to do it pretty quick so it doesn't dry. Make sure your um, cement's kind of stirred up. So let's see how you do it. And you do it to the, the depth of the fitting. So something like this here, you probably can't see it. But then I can do it down here. Yeah. All right, and then assemble them and do like a little twist. I'm gonna hold there for 30 seconds or so. If there's any excess, you can use a rag to wipe it off. Right. Mm. I don't know if I can hold this position for 30 seconds. Alright, is that it? I don't know. Is counting in there? Then, I think that's good. Put the tap back on because I need this again. I need not to be uh, dried out. to get out of my hole. All right. So now what we're gonna do is a little measuring. I think there are fittings there. And uh, something measured a little bit to um, lip to lip. Not the outer lip, but the inner part. You got, um, you got the end here, and you got about about half inch down. So we'll measure in between those two. So this right here, I'm, Pulling in. Oh. Get down there, don't break anything. Okay, we've got a good 13, 12 and a quarter. 12 and three quarters, actually. Oh, get me out of here. Oh. So, 12 and 3 quarters is what we'll go cut. I got this pipe laid out and I'm going to do uh, 12 and 3 quarters. 12 and 3 quarters, right about here. Oops. Alright, I marked it and I'll go to town with this hacksaw and cut through it. There's other ones you can do chop saws, you can do. Uh, Abrasive saws and whatever, but this will do fine. That little hacksaw. All right. So I got this here. You can see close. There's like some burrs, things sticking out here, and uh, in part inside also. I'm gonna get rid of them. So we got this little ramer tool, right? This little sharp thing on it. And it goes a little something like this. Let's see if I can do it this time. And like so. And oops, round. 
and get those burrs out of there, kind of chamfer it. Now for the other part, the outside part, which is most important, I just do this with the sandpaper. Right. This is a 100 grit. Alright, so takes the burrs off, gives a little chamfer. I'll do the other thing to the edge too, which probably doesn't need it, but I'll do it anyways. Okay, so pretty much the same as before. Um, we'll take the glue and we'll ream it on the inside of this pipe here. And then uh, put on the outside and put them together. Let's see here. Good, get down to the notches there. Then around the pipe. Alright. Then slide them together here. And twist the motion and hold. Hopefully, you don't have ants like I got hanging around here. They'll bite you. The little punks. Yeah, well, we know how this goes. Hold it for the time, then we can go on to something else. Alright, it's been about two hours and we got some water coming out here. I fill up the uh, wash machine down the laundry area. And I got some water fun up there. And down here, it's looking pretty dry. That is good, not even a leak. So, this part is good. Now the water is even coming out clean. So, there's more to this. But um, for now, this is good. I didn't fill up the wash all the way, just fill up maybe a small load. So hopefully in time now it's going to cut off and uh, not be bad. And if it is, I'll have to just kind of wash it a little bit later. Maybe with a dishwasher or something, but yeah, it's going, going. Yeah, it'll be gone eventually. Alright, so this is dry and I'll get back to it. Um, doing the long stretch, which I might have to dig out some more. Alright, so now we got it here where it's uh, going through the pipe there. And what we'll be doing next is we'll be installing a uh, 45. I already kind of meshed it up here. So I'm going to follow this old pipe back along there. So I'm getting in front of like, the center of that one. And uh, the back part here, I can actually gauge it about a quarter inch. I don't even see it, but there's a little tag here. So a little quarter inch past this tag is where I'll cut it. Right across there. Maybe do a little marking. Mm, like so. And then slap this thing back on there. And then, yeah. That should be good. So, hacksaw time. That's kind of, you know, cut like this. Right, all right, so it's like that. And cut off, and then uh, get your old piece of pipe out. Mm. Then uh, take some sandpaper or something for this outside. I'll hit them with the, the reamer on the inside like before. And then I'll be ready for this here to uh, be glued on. Now, in the meanwhile, what are we doing? Is you have this old pipe, and well, I happen to have stood on it down here some. I don't think you can see it that good. All right, right there. It's kind of stood and it kind of obliterated. And so I take a the little helper sledgehammer and smash it in a few places. Just pick up the pieces. Or there's some connecting spots, but I think I just, you know, like I said, smash and pull out at this stage. But I'll be very careful over here. Right. I want to be careful of that. Which I'm assuming is a gas line. So, 
I'll give that a little shove out, dig around, smash, pull it out, and uh, get that part cleaned up and glued back on. And when you glue it on, you want a little bit of a little angle to it, you see. You got something like this right here. You want it pointing down just a little bit so it keeps your flow rate right going towards the main, which is way down there. All right, so there we got it on there. Glued on good. It's going to wait for about a I'll give it two hours before I try testing it out, but before that I'm going to go ahead and add on the next piece of uh, pipe, which is going to be a 10 foot long one. So I'll uh, start with um, showing you the coupler in here. Come with me. Alright, so the needs are roughest right now, so you might hear a lot of noises. Let's see here. All right, you get your 10 foot long pole. And basically the same as before here. You want to um, hit it with some sandpaper around these outer edges, which already did kind of, you know, buff them down, make them not sharp. And then I'll go ahead and wipe it down with a little damp cloth. I did the inside and out on this, so buff away, get the inside, because I'm not buffing, I'm just wiping down. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you want this clean, but you also want dry. Like that, the inside. All right, because we don't want any dirt, water, nothing on this thing. I guess what, there's still some dust there. So I'm going to hand it off. All right, there. Okay, then what we're going to do here is put on the union, a coupler. It's a little piece like this right here, you see. And it's going to go on like so. So same thing. going to uh, glue around the inside of this thing, glue on the outside of that thing, slap them together. And, um... That's what we're going to be doing down there, too. Put the other end of this thing. This be uh, glue, glue, slap and hold. And then, um, usually say 15 seconds, 3 seconds, something like that. Uh, let me get this thing off without spilling it all, because I still need it. Alrighty. Great. Couple wipes like that. Couple wipes from this part here. Which now I realize you might be able to see it. And slipping together before it dries. A <clears throat> little turn and hold it. And then what I do, so I gobbed down a lot, I get some of uh, some of this here to wipe off the excess. All right, same thing. Hold for the 15 seconds or so. And two hours, it should be good to go. Right. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same glue thing down at the other end. Just that's not going to look very good because I'll be on the ground stuff and dirt my face. All right, so we've got our pipe down in here somewhere. The new stuff, and we have some old stuff there. It's still kind of packed inside the dirt. And so what I'll do is I'll try to cut it. And cast iron now. It's rough stuff, but you know, the old handy hacksaw. So I'll probably go through like 100 blades trying to cut that thing. Maybe a thousand, who knows. So instead, what we're going to use, you use a, a grinder maybe, um, an abrasive grinder, or I have this abrasive saw blade here. I'll try using that on it. Let's uh, let's look at this together, shall we? Kind of zoom in like so and get the channel out here. As long as the bee don't get me.
working. Ever so slightly. Alright, I'm gonna try a, a third thing. Let's see what happens here. Well, otherwise I'll just keep hacking with this. So I got about an eighth of an inch All so right, far. So that's what's left over after we cut it. And I can see it didn't come out very good. Uh, so I'm gonna get you down here close. See back in there. Um, if you can't tell from this, the bottom of the said pipe there, right along this part here, the bottom part, pretty much fell out all the way up to this hub. So, which is fine. Um, if that didn't happen, I could have uh, put in a special little piece that I'll show later. Well, since that did happen, I'm going to take it back to the hub here, and the correct way, I guess, I would say, is to put some heat. Apply heat in here, and it should melt the lead that holds this pipe in, but uh, we don't have that kind of heat. Uh, I think it takes more than just your normal propane map torches, whatever. So, what I'm going to try to do is get a rusty drill here, bring in here, and I'm just going to drill in. Er, like so. And I'll even drill down here through this pipe. Hopefully. You get the point. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'll drill in here to try to get some of this lead packing out, and I'll drill across here to make this weak so I can split this pipe here. Because once I split that, I could probably get into the hub very carefully. Tap with a hammer if I need to, because you don't want to damage any of this rusty hub stuff, right? So I'm going to drill probably about, um, you know, a few hundred, um, a few hundred holes, maybe give or take 50 or so, and um, see what we can get there with my little partner here, Mr. Fly, or Mrs. Oh. So a bunch of drilling, a little tapping. And hopefully I can get out that little piece of pipe and I have an adapter that should work wonders after that. Alright, with um, a little tap tap and a, a saw blade, which I, I put away now, but it's um, a pretty good saw blade. I think it's made by Milwaukee. It's used for cutting um, cast iron. Um, just like that. Hard metals. Um, I was able to cut the interior of the pipe that was in there cut it down there, up and down, and then uh, using a uh, screw to pry it out, which is not the right kind because, you know, if you can see, I kind of bust off the tip. But uh, I'll probably ground it down, it'll still be good. Um, now it could fit the uh, new pipe. It'll fit right in there. And this pipe here, give it a little shift, see how far it could go in. Right about there? Great. So that's about maybe two inches, maybe an inch and a half. I'll measure it later. So what we're going to do is, um, over on this side here, we're going to add the uh, union like before, way down there. And this one here, now now had, we had two inch pipe to connect this to, where'd it go? The black one here, to a two inch cast iron pipe. We can use uh, one of these guys, right? Metal housing, rubber inside, you uh, cast iron on one side, plastic on the other, tighten them up, probably to maybe 60 pounds, whatever, and, um, and ta-da. That's how you connect cast iron to plastic, ABS, or PVC in this case. Well, not in this case, but ABS in this case. Anyways, this one here, same thing. What we got is this beast hard to find. Four inches on the outside will fit right over there. Um, two inches on this side here. And you don't just put the pipe in here to this part. No, no. You put the pipe, measure it so it goes all the way into here. Right? And then... Uh, I might even do a little bit of a silicon around this rust here for this lip and uh, tighten that down. I think it's just 60 pounds per square inch. This thing here is uh, for plastic cast iron, plastic two cast iron, and um, it's called a reducing coupling. So what that will do though is uh, help to keep it all watertight and yeah, that's about the gist of it. So I'll measure the pipe, actually I'll put this on, the union, on this part here, the ABS one, clean that real good, glue it on, let's set for a little bit, and then I'll measure from here 
to, like I said, inside the lip here by uh, shoving a piece of scrap in to see how far it can kind of go. Twisting, there's a little bit of petrified poop in there or something. Maybe I'll clean it a little bit more. But, um, so I'll measure that out. And um, basically, I will then assemble this, which, you know, which you've already seen me glue pipe. So, what I'll do is actually I will put the pipe in here, then pull it back to glue, but making sure I have this adapter on it first, right? Okay, so let me get to it and uh, see what it ends up at. Okay, so I got my piece of pipe here and a special contraption here, and it goes in, like so, right? And uh, shove them down some. Maybe even like this. But I'm going to fit down there and see if it fits in there good. And then uh, I will uh, keep these pointing up when get this installed. Just kind of loosen them up right now. And I'll tighten them down with a 5 16th to uh, 60 pounds per square inch, whatever, over strength. And uh, like I said, I'll glue the other one. So let me assemble it and see what happens. And I'll, like I said, run some uh, caulking up in here on that metal part to hopefully seal up even All better. Alright, so then you can see it's uh, attached there to cast iron. Back in there, it's attached with the union. I'll take the other pieces I don't need back to the store, hopefully with my receipt. And last but not least, what I'll do is I'll get down there and um, the silver there, the stainless steel, I'm going to wrap with some vinylized tape here. If you are in a place where you can find the exotic um, silicone tape, you know, that's easier to work with, kind of, and you can use that, but um, I don't got that. So I'll use this instead, just to get a little more protection from the rust. And, um, yeah, then of course I'll wait a couple hours, maybe the day, let the glue dry, and then uh, let some water through and let it rip and see if any leaks happen. So, this is about it. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. And thanks for watching. Ajab Doer, out.